Hi, Phyllis here from southernfrugal.com. This morning we're going to make an uh, Almond Joy cake. Now, this is my own recipe, okay? It's been altered a lot and I finally think I've gotten it right. So I'm going to show you the ingredients. Here are the ingredients. Uh, we'll need two and a half cups of sifted all-purpose flour, two cups of sugar, one fourth teaspoon salt, one teaspoon of baking soda. Now it's baking soda, not baking powder. One teaspoon of imitation coconut extract. One teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. One and a third cups of whole buttermilk, four egg yolks, and four egg whites beaten to stiff peaks. One cup or two sticks of softened butter. Okay, now I forgot to take my butter out this morning, so what I did is just cut it up into about uh, little sections and put it in the microwave on defrost for, I don't know, probably 30 seconds, maybe a little more. You don't want the butter melted, you want it just softened. Okay, we're ready to start mixing. Now I've got me a large mixing bowl. I'm going to put in my butter. Two cups of sugar. and the four egg yolks. Now, because I mixed up my egg whites, or, or beat my egg whites first, then that means that I can uh, just not have to bother even uh, cleaning off my beaters. Uh, but you can't uh, beat uh, egg whites with greasy beaters, so you want to do that first and then mix up your eggs, butter, and sugar. Okay, now I'll be back in just a minute because this is probably going to take about five minutes. I'm going to beat this until it's light and fluffy. All right, I have beaten my sugar, egg yolks, and butter until they're fluffy and kind of a lemon flavor, I mean lemon uh, color. Now I'm going to add in my flavorings. I'm going to use one teaspoon of vanilla extract and one teaspoon of imitation coconut flavoring. Oops, too much. And don't do what I just did hold it over the mix to measure it. Anyway, I'm sure that's a teaspoon. I just poured too much out and poured the rest of it down the drain. All right, I'm just going to mix that in. I'm going to go ahead and use my fourth teaspoon of salt. Now, I use salted butter, so I'm going to only use a fourth teaspoon of salt. If you use uh, regular unsalted butter, you'd probably want to put a teaspoon of salt in this. Okay, I'm going to mix that with the mixer a little bit more just to make sure it's all mixed up. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is add the flour and I'm going to mix that in by hand. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want the texture of my cake to be uh, light, but I also want it to be moist. So to do that, you'll need to start out putting your flour in. Start with that. And I'm going to go ahead and add my one teaspoon of baking soda. You want to just dump it out in your pan and make sure there are no lumps in it. Just dump that in and just mix it in with the spatula. Okay. 
And then next, one and a third cups of buttermilk. I'm going to pour just a little bit in. Again, still mixing it by hand with the spatula. Now this is going to make a, a very uh, moist but still light cake. And we're going to make it in a sheet pan. All right, I'm going to add about one third more of the flour. When you mix the cake and you, you use the beater at this stage, it ends up developing the gluten in the flour and you end up getting kind of a tough textured cake. Right now I'm going to add all the rest of my buttermilk. And I am going to use a mixer on it again at the end, but only for a little while. Okay, now we've got all the buttermilk incorporated into this mixture. Now I'm going to add the balance of the flour. And remember, the flour's been sifted, so you shouldn't have a problem with lumps. You always want to sift your flour, then measure it, and then sift it again, just to get a light and airy texture on your cakes. Okay, now I'm going to... Uh, use the mixer on it for just a little bit just to be sure everything is thoroughly mixed. All right, not going to need our mixer anymore. Now, the four egg whites or beaten to stiff peaks, I'm going to dump all that in at one time and fold it into this batter all at once. And to fold it in, I'm going to pull the batter up over top of the egg whites as much as I can. You're not going to be stirring like that. You want to fold it by picking it up and just keep turning it over and over and over. And they will eventually go in. It might look like there's some lumps in there, but that'd be okay. You're just incorporating air into your batter. And of course, these egg whites are going to expand when they're cooked. And that's what's going to give you that great texture on your cakes. I pretty much make all my cakes this way, regardless of what kind it is, uh, other than maybe a pound cake. And my apple cake, I don't do this way. But if it's just going to be a regular sheet cake, chocolate, vanilla, or uh, in this case, coconut, I usually always fold my egg whites in. Okay, there it is. Now this is a 12, uh, excuse me, it's a 10 by 15 pan. You could make it in a smaller, like a 8 by 12, it'd just make the cake taller. Alright, so I'm just going to dump it all in at once. And this is the base for my Almond Joy cake. Now, all of my recipes are really from, I don't even know where. Some of them I've been making so long, I don't remember where I got them. But, uh, Every single cake I make has been altered in some way just because I like a cake that's very moist and I want it to taste really good. So I usually end up altering them in some way to give it the texture that I'm looking for. Okay, we're going to bake this at 350 degrees and I'm doing that because I've got a dark pan. If you've got a light can, pan, 
you could probably go ahead and bake it at 350. But you want to just insert a toothpick in it uh, while it's still in the oven, and if it comes out clean, you know the cake is done. So when this cake gets done, we'll be back and make the icing. The cake is done now, and we're ready to make the uh, topping to go on it. And we're going to do that in the food processor. So what I'm going to use is a pack of Baker's Angel Flake Coconut, and this is a 7-ounce pack. I'm just going to dump that in. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want that coconut ground up smaller than it was in the pack. All right, I'm going to dump in one cup of confectionery sugar. One half cup of uh, almond milk. Now this is the uh, almond breeze and it's the original. It doesn't have vanilla in it, okay? It's just the original almond milk. Now I might need a little more, so I'm just going to uh, mix it up first and find out if I'm going to need a little bit more. Now you just need a touch of almond, I mean, excuse me, imitation coconut flavoring because it, it'll just give the uh, filling a little more taste. And this time I'm going to measure it away from my mixing area. So probably about a fourth of a teaspoon. All right, I'm ready to mix it up now. And I'm going to uh, come right back as soon as we get it all mixed up, which will probably take maybe two minutes. All right, that took about two minutes uh, in the food processor. And uh, it was just, I only needed a half cup of the almond milk. Um, depending on the confectionery sugar, you might need a little more or a little less. But you want it just slightly runny. And what's going to happen is that almond milk some of it is going to seep down into the cake. Now what we're going to do is just spread this over the cake as best we can. Grinds the coconut up pretty good. Right, we just want to gently spread this out on top of the cake. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just spread it out, you know, as evenly as you can get it. All right, that's probably good enough right there. And remember, this is an Almond Joy cake. So I've tried to get the recipe as close as I could to the Almond Joy candy bar, which has almonds in it, and it is covered with milk chocolate. So, all right, now we're ready to add the almonds. And this is... sliced almonds and this is a two ounce little bag and I'm going to add uh, two of them on top of the coconut. Just sprinkle them on. the chocolate uh, icing or chocolate sauce really to go over the top of it. I'm going to move the camera over here. 
And what I have done is melted three tablespoons of butter. And to that, I'm going to add six little squares of Baker's German sweet chocolate. Now, you've got about 18 squares in the pack, and I'm just going to put six of them in. And I'm going to melt that along with the butter. I'm going to cut my burner off because the, butter's, the butter, the hot butter will um, melt all of this chocolate pretty quickly. Now, the other thing that I'm going to add to this uh, as my liquid is going to be buttermilk. Now, I use the buttermilk because, first of all, you can't tell it's buttermilk when you get it in the little sauce here. And it sort of cuts down on so much of the sweetness. And again, that's going to be whole buttermilk. And, of course, we're going to put confectionery sugar in. And um, also, I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one little dash of salt. And I'm going to put my extract in as soon as everything gets uh, mixed together. All right, see my chocolate is pretty well melted now. And I, do, I don't have the burner on now. And I'm going to start adding the confectionery sugar. And we'll start out with what looks like about, I don't know, maybe a cup and a half of confectionery sugar. Just mix that in. And I'm going to also go ahead and put in some buttermilk. That looks like about a fourth of a cup, maybe. And that's just to start out, because we want this to be a slightly runny icing. Just slightly. Just a little more buttermilk. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my vanilla extract. And I'm just going to use half a teaspoon, not even quite half a teaspoon. Now I'm going to mix this up with a little whisk just to get the lumps out of it. And once I get this thoroughly mixed, we'll be back. And I might go ahead and add some uh, more confectionery sugar and a little more buttermilk because I want a little bit more than this. All right, my icing is ready. And I wanted to show you one little trick. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of light corn syrup and that's to prevent my icing from getting crusty on top or from turning sugary. So just pour it in about a tablespoon of the light corn syrup and mix that up. Now I did have to use my electric mixer on this because as it turned out my confectionery sugar was lumpy lumpy lumpy. Now usually because they pack the confectionery sugar in plastic bags now it usually is not lumpy, but this particular one, uh, little bag, was very lumpy. Uh, normally, I would just use a little whisk to mix this up. All right. Now I'm going to just pour it on my cake and try to get it covered completely. I'm just starting at one side and going back and forth. And hopefully, this will be enough to cover all of that. Now this icing will, of course, run down in between all of those almonds and uh, get them all coated. And now I do leave this in the pan and um, after we've had a couple of pieces of it, I go ahead and cut it up into serving size pieces and freeze it. It freezes very, very well. And when you're ready to eat some out of the freezer, all you have to do is take it out and put it on a little saucer, of course, and uh, thaw it out in the microwave on defrost. OK, 
Okay, now I'm going to just spread this out just a little bit. Because I want all of my little almonds covered as best I can. And some of the icing is going to run down into the side of it, which is good. Because that way the person that gets a piece that's on the end gets more chocolate. very very rich so usually when we eat a piece of this cake we have to find a glass of milk you know a little half glass of milk maybe to kind of get the sweet out of your mouth but it is quite delicious and it does taste exactly like an almond joy candy bar and remember the almond joy candy bar is milk chocolate it's not that dark chocolate and if you wanted to make something like the mound cake, the mound candy bar, you would just leave out the almonds and put more uh, of that uh, German sweet chocolate or even cocoa into your top layer. So we'll be back in a few minutes and I'll show you the recipe and I'm going to cut this and show you what it looks like. Okay, here's the Almond Joy cake and I've cut us both a piece because we're going to have some right after lunch. Here's the other piece. And if you look real close, you can see a lot of that moisture has soaked down into the cake. Again, that's Almond Joy cake. Now I'm going to show you the recipe. This is the recipe for the cake. Here are the instructions. And here's the icing. Now on the icing, down at the bottom, I just wrote confectionery sugar and buttermilk. You'll want to just make a slightly runny frosting. And that uh, tablespoon of uh, corn syrup will prevent your icing from ever getting sugary. Here's the cake in the pan. Now I just leave it in the pan and then uh, I'll you know, several hours and let that moisture soak all through the cake. Then I'm going to cut it up into slices and freeze it and you can thaw it out in the microwave on defrost and it'll be like it was just made. Now this cake is actually still slightly warm. Alright, we'll be back next time with uh, more recipes.